The palm trees and the tributaries of the Everett River tell us that we have reached the south of Iraq. However, for reaching the secret that we came for, we are required to continue our journey forward. Najaf, one of the oldest places inhabited by humans on Earth. In this city, which is located 160 kilometers from the capital city of Baghdad, lays one of the oldest cemeteries in the history, the peaceful valley, Wadi Salam. It is here that Adam, the father of mankind, was buried, as well as Imam Ali the successor of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Imam Ali accompanied Prophet Muhammad in all stages of Islam faith dissemination. He was married to the Prophet's daughter Fatima, from whom he had two sons, Al-Hasan and al Hussein. Both of them were killed, as well as their father, whilst defending the principles of Islam. Through decades, the houses around the shrine of Imam Ali turned into a thriving city. Here is one of the most famous bazaars in Najaf. It is covered with a metal roof similar in style to the Ottoman bazaars. Visitors from all over the world come here looking to buy confectionaries, gemstones, copper handicrafts, and mantles. نوعية العباء مقاومة للبريد مقاومة للمطار إحنا نسميها نسميها درع داودي. يعني نضرب مثل ابن ابينا داود عليه السلام In a narrow alley of this old bazaar, there is an old man who still adheres his ancient craft. Every year, around the middle of the lunar month of Safar, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of visitors from Iraq and all around the globe, 
come to Najaf to visit the shrine of Imam Ali, then walk on foot towards the big secret in a journey that takes around three days. We came to this land not for anything but because of the love we have for our great master, our savior, Abba Abdullah Hussain alayhi salatu wasalam, who gave his life and the life of his children to save humanity and to bring justice to the people of the world and to bring love to the people of the world and to bring peace to the people of the world. And when we arrived here in this holy city of Iraq, we've realized there are so many important things that we have seen in Iraq, some extraordinary type of akhlaq and behavior from the people of Iraq. These people that we all know, they are under oppression, but the love they show to us, we as the visitors and the zuwar of Abba Abdullah al Hussein, is amazing. One cannot comprehend, one cannot understand. People are begging you to eat. People are begging you to massage you. People are begging you to come to their home and sleep. This is not for anything, but because of the love and the ishq they have for their master, Abba Abdullah al Hussein. So I want to call all people of the world, let us emulate the love that the people of Iraq has for humanity in this course of enlivening the affairs of Imam al Hussein alayhi salatu wasalam. I've traveled to many parts of the world, but I've not seen the type of love that the Iraqis are showing to the Zawar of Abba Abdullah al Hussein. We those who managed to walk from Najaf to Karbala, we managed to walk through 80 kilometers just to come to Karbala to visit our Mawla Abba Abdullah al Hussein. My name is Saad Baghdadi and I live near Manchester in the United Kingdom. I come originally from Iraq. I, came, I went to Manchester in, in about 50 years ago and I'm still there. But from childhood, we used to go and visit Karbala where Imam Hussein is there. And we used to hear the stories about what happened to Imam Hussein, why people do that, about cry about Imam Hussein, why, they, why do they hit themselves, some of them. So since then, it's created some certain feeling toward the idea, that, that the tragedy of Imam Hussein, how he was killed, his family was killed, and all because he was fighting for justice. More than 1,370 years ago, the Umayyad Khalifa committed a crime towards the second grandson of Prophet Muhammad. At that time, he thought that the desert will hide the trace of his crime of killing Imam Hussein, the last descent of all the prophets. It was hard to evade from this crime. As all the visitors know, the motivation behind it and its objectives. Therefore, they all followed this path to stand by their Imam. He was killed by the rulers who wanted to expand their control over the Muslim world. I went to England, but it remained in my heart the tragedy of Imam Hussein. In the last few years, more and more people started visiting Imam Hussein, especially on his 40, the 40 days after his death. And this year, I decided I want to come and take part in this visit myself. So we came from Manchester to Najaf and then to Karbala. That's where the shrine of Imam Hussein is. Well, I was really surprised, I couldn't believe it. It's, uh, I've seen people from all walk of life. They're begging people to accept service. Services like even shining shoes, massage, food, uh, accommodation, a bed. And I couldn't believe how happy they, they were for somebody to accept this help from them. So. I can't say from now on I'll be coming every year to visit Imam Hussein on his on the 40th day after the anniversary of his death.
Each one of the visitors come here for a different reason. However, one passion drives them to endure the hardship of walking to the martyrdom of Imam al Hussein. Here, during those days, we, we, we, we find no fights, no disputes. All people are well organized without really uh, a one organization organizing this. They are by themselves organizing this, something that other organizations all over the world fail to do. Here, the Hussein uniting all those people together in the same sentiments, in the same logic, and people are walking peacefully toward Hussein, raising the flags of peace, of friendship, of tolerance uh, to other people, to other ideas. That's why each year numbers are doubling. This year maybe we will touch maybe, maybe the 20 million here in, in, in Karbala. Everything is done really by the people themselves. Eighty kilometers is the distance that separates Najaf from Karbala. And each meter, on each side of the road, someone will stop you and begs you to be your servant during this holy journey. جميع الأبناء المدينة يفتخرون بتقديم الخدمة إلى الزائر مهما كان موقع المواطن النجفي أو العراقي يفتخر بتقديم الخدمة إلى الزائر سواء بتقديم الشاي أو الطعام أو أو الأمور الأخرى يعني تدليك الأقدام الزائرين أو أي شيء آخر العوائل النجفية الأسر النجفية والعشائر النجفية تفتخر بمن يقدم الخدمة ومن موكبه أكبر لتقديم الخدمة إلى زائرين بعبد الله الحسين مع اعتزازنا طبعا الكل حسب إمكانيته وحسب وضع المادي تبدأ من يجوز استكان الشاي البسيط حتى النساء الأرامل البسيطات تقدم ما لديها إلى الزائر الكريم ويشعر بأنه مقصر في حق الزائر few years ago Tents and booths were set up to serve the visitors. Today, serviced buildings are replacing them. During these days, Iraqi families leave their homes, their lives behind, and come all the way to serve the walking visitors of Imam al Hussein. Voilà, on est venu ici pour participer à l'arbiin de Imam Hussein, alayhi salam. Euh, comme chaque, chaque, chaque année, mashallah, ici, en fait, euh, tous les Ouars euh, ont participé pour, euh, pour euh, participer à Seyyid Zainab, l'événement de Seyyid Zainab quand il est retourné euh, avec la tête d'Ilman Hussein, avec tous les enfants d'Ilman Hussein ici. Et voilà, maintenant, on, on, est en train de, on est venu de Belgique, on est en train de participer à ce grand événement. Moi, j'appelle un grand événement parce qu'il y, y en a vraiment beaucoup de gens qui viennent ici. Malheureusement, tous les médias ne parlent pas. Mais bon, il y a plus ou moins 20, 20 millions, quelque chose comme ça, qui viennent chaque année pour, pour visiter l'Imam Hussein. Euh, ils viennent de Najaf jusqu'à Karbala euh, en marchant. Euh, en marchant quoi, voilà. euh, certains qui, qui viennent aussi de Basra, ils ont peur de rien. Quoi. Euh, même s'il si, même si y, y, y a des gens qui, qui vont ici, pour, pour tuer, etc. Nous sommes ici pour la paix. On est venu pour la paix. On est venu pour montrer l'image, la bonne image de, de l'islam, la bonne image que l'imam Hussein nous a dessinée. The route between Najaf and Karbala looks very similar to a long trade route. However, everything in this journey is given free of charge for the sake of Imam al-Hussein. 
این راهپیمایی رو که تو تلویزیون دیدم خیلی دوست داشتم تو این با این زائرا امام حسین باشم البته فراوونی زیاد نعمت زیاد پذیرایی خوب اومدم تو این مسیر که بودم این نوکره امام حسین رو دیدم ازشون اجازه خواستم ماساجی که میدن گفتم آقا اجازه میگیرم اومدم ماساج بدم نوکره امام حسین خستگیشون درشه الحمدلله به کرامت امام حسین همه چی هست اورژانس هست بیمارستان هست فراوونی هست 24 ساعت پذیرایی میشه People here are extremely enchanted to serve the visitors They serve to draw their almighty Allah and out of love to Imam al-Hussein who sacrificed his life for the sake of the principles of Islam. My name is Sayyid Ali Naqi. I have been from India and we all have been from India. We have been from India and we have been from India. We have been from Najaf Ashraf. Najaf Ashraf is the third day of Najaf Ashraf. And we are going to reach the third day of Najaf Ashraf. But we have seen that, Alhamdulillah, حمزارت امام حسین علیہ السلام کے لیے آئے اور یہاں پر کسی بھی طریقے کی کوئی پریشانی نہیں ہے یہاں پر راستے میں کھانے کا انتظام بحمدللہ بہت اچھا ہے اور رہنے کا انتظام بھی بہت اچھا ہے اور ہر چیز فری ہے سونے کا لیٹنے کا بیٹھنے کا کھانے کا رہنے کا بہت اچھا انتظام ہے اور کسی بھی طریقے کا کوئی خطرہ لاحق نہیں ہے یعنی امن و امان کے ساتھ میں اور ہم سب لوگ جو ہیں وہ ہندوستان سے تعلق رکھتے ہیں نیو دلہی سے These massive crowds of people have created their special set of rules. The most important rule is to give generously without asking for anything in return. It is a tradition inspired by sacrifice, generosity, and love learned from Al Imam Al Hussein's martyrdom. But I betrachted him and beobachted him the service. Die Organisation, die die angeboten haben für diese Pilger, die zu den Imam Hussein 40. kamen. Sie bieten den Pilger an, essen, trinken, Massage, reparieren sie ihre kaputten Schuhe, ihre Traktaschen, ihre Kinderwagen, die kaputt gehen unterwegs, weil die Pilger, die kommen mit allen Kleinigkeiten nach diese Ereignisse, das ist Wahnsinn. Wer ist der Imam Hussein? Warum ist das? Was ist der 40. Tag des Imam Hussein? Das muss, bleibt dem Zuschauer schuldig, nachzuforschen. Ich finde, das schön wäre. It is the journey of finding the secrets. The innate secrets that exist in the minds and hearts of all those who are walking with complete passion towards their target, Imam al Hussein's shrine in Karbala. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. My name is Vidaadu de Azerbaijan devletinden biz gelmişiz, Bakı'dan yola düşmüşüz. Bizim zavvarlarımızın tedadı üç sınıfara kadardı, altı tane avtobusla Oradan çıkmışız ve geldik İran'a, İran'dan serbest şekilde e, biz oradan geçtik İrak'a, geldik Nezef'e, Nezef şehrinde bir müddet kaldık, oradan yola düştük Çufi'ye ve Çufi'den de demek olar ki piyada e, geldik, sahle maksini yok, Çufi'den biz çıktık, Çufi'den çıktık ve piyada geldik e, Nezef'e, oradan geçtik ve neyse şimdi yolda پیاده جلو می نن جلو بیتیم شی بو منطقیه. امنیت دا یاکشیده جزال دی بران شرایط دا بیزیم خوش مزاج جلو دی انسانلرن اشکی محبتی بیزید براز دوشه یاتیر دی شی بودی خدمت بودی جزال انسانلرن امام سنولن اشکی بیز بیز دهها بودن گردش و شاهد دا اولو شی اشغالات بیلر زبانلر نادر امام سن اسلامن زبانان خدمت لیلر. It is impossible to describe all the sorts of services the journey visitors can find here on both sides of the road. Food, drinks, sweet, bakeries, medical care, foot massage, mobile charging, free international calls, wheelchairs and stroller repairs, and even shoe repair services. <laughs> أو تكرم مشحاطات أو فرشي جينا من البصر من هاي سفان نخدم أبا عبد الله إحنا مجموعة كادر كامل وتمنى أن نقدم فرشي للإمام الحسين هذا أبصر شيء نقدمه 
يعني فرشي ما ما ينوصف The long distance between Najaf and Karbala has been transformed by these people into an open mosque where supplications, verses of the Holy Quran and congressional prayers are performed throughout the journey. Therefore, I want to say, all this love that we've seen and witnessed from the people of Iraq in these days of Arba'in, it is nothing but the teachings they inculcated from Abba Abdullah al Hussein alayhi salatu salam because Hussein is love, Hussein is justice, Hussein is humanity. So when we see this thing from the people of Iraq, it is not from any other person but from Abba Abdullah al Hussein alayhi salatu salam. So therefore we call all people of the world, let us all come together and rally behind the legacy of Hussein. Because if we rally behind the legacy of Hussein, we will love one another. If you rally behind the legacy of Hussein, we will spread justice in the world. If you rally among, above the legacy of Hussein, we will be able to reach out to one another and will love one another. So therefore, I am here in Iraq to say Labbaika Ya Hussein and to respond to the calling of Abba Abdullah Hussein. Salawatullahi wa salamu Approaching the target of the march, unmatched crowds of people overfilling the streets. Here, an enemy army of 30,000 fighters surrounded Imam Hussein, his 73 supporters, their families, women, children, on the 10th day of the month of Muharram, and gave him the option between paying allegiance to Yazid, the Umayyad Khalifa, or death. And they rejected all the other options offered by him those, they killed him, his son, and all his supporters. And they were all beheaded, and the holy heads were sent to Yazid in Damascus. For every one of those visitors, there is a secret or a thought for which they incurred the fatigue of the journey. It is definitely divine intervention that is involved in this march. There are things that you cannot describe using words, and like I said, you would have to see for yourselves the giving of the people of this country who are already so poor, but we are willing to give whatever they have for these visitors that come on a yearly basis is something beyond words, and God has his hand in all of it. They never revealed their secrets before. They hold the shrine with their hands, soft eyes, and compassionate voices, echoing, Assalamu alaikum, ya Aba Abdullah.